You know what? I'm going to have some fun tonight. I'm going to call the 7,000 party line. 1-900-999. Well, Miss Smith, a complete golf update Monday on Live on 5. Challenge. Brought to you by The Illuminating Company. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Lou Maglio. Welcome to Academic Challenge, where tonight teams from Archbishop Hoven of Akron, Beechwood High School, and Chanel High School of Bedford are competing in our 27th year. In our first electronic challenge round, each team starts with 100 points and has six questions. Correct answers are worth 10 points, and there are no penalties in this round. Now let's meet the students of team number one, Archbishop Hoven. We have Guy Albertelli, a junior who enjoys ice hockey, computers, and reading science fiction. He's a member of the National Honor Society and the Biology Olympics team. Senior Joe Thomas is editor of the school newspaper and literary magazine, and he plans to major in journalism at Kent State University. Trisha Cosgrove is a senior who enjoys music and reading. She plans to major in biology in college. Guy Albertelli is the captain. Guy, the lights are spinning around, so please push down your yellow button, and you land on the category of history. Again, six questions in this round. Pocahontas saved Captain John Smith from certain death, but Captain Edward Smith had no such luck when he went down with what ship sunk by an iceberg in 1912. Yes. Famous rings of history were not all jewels, as was evident in what ring of revenue officers who, in the Grant administration, defrauded the government of liquor tax money. No penalties in this round, so you can guess. No, we're looking for the whiskey ring, the whiskey ring. Few buildings by the 19th century architect James Gifford survive today, but one that does is what National Historic Site where John Wilkes Booth shot Abraham Lincoln. Thank you. Right. He may not have realized it at the time, but Winston Churchill reported on the roots of the apartheid system when serving as a correspondent during what turn of the century South African War? Any attempt? Correct answer, the Boer War. Had there been any Quakers in America in 1682, they would have bid welcome to the welcome, the ship bringing what Quaker leader who founded the Middle Atlantic colony bearing his name. William Penn. Right. Thomas Jefferson engineered the Louisiana Purchase, but Louisiana did not become a state until the administration of what president who succeeded Jefferson? John Quincy Adams. No, James Madison. And you finish this round with 130 points. Now, Beachwood, Jamie Stadlin is a junior and member of the chess club. In his spare time, he enjoys snow and water skiing and fishing. Junior Ben Haas is on the school yearbook staff and is a member of the chess club. His interests include basketball. Scott Rothbart is a junior and member of the golf and track teams. A photography buff, Scott works on the school yearbook and newspaper. Jamie, you're the captain. Please push down your yellow button to stop the light. And you land on you pick. Let me name the categories you can select from. We have sports, famous men and women, time and place, trivia, the right number, math, and literature. Which of those categories would you like? Famous men and women. Famous men and women, it is. A Night in Havana is the title of a recent film documentary about what jazz trumpeter, notable for his tilted trumpet and the nickname Dizzy. Gillespie? Right. The only state-owned bank in the United States is in what capital of North Dakota, named for a 19th century German statesman? Bismarck. Right. Not just the scientist Gregor Mendel, the geneticist, had what same religious title in Austria that Rasputin had in Russia. Monk? Correct. Which current court justice could make the statement, my father was a Pullman car steward, my grandfather a slave, and I have the last name of an early chief justice? Marshall. Right. The Symphony No. 41 by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is often given what title that identifies the chief god of ancient Rome, the equivalent of the Greek Zeus. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. 
Britain's Marquess of Douglas flew an aircraft over Mount Everest in 1933, exactly 20 years before Everest was first climbed by what New Zealand mountaineer, now a knight. Sure. That is it, Jamie. And Beachwood, you finish up with 160 points. Now, Chanel High School, senior James Tokarski is vice president of the National Honor Society. He plans to major in history at Walsh College in Canton. Jim Osborne is a senior and plans to major in mathematics in college. He is student council vice president and a member of the drama club. Senior James Mikowski is treasurer for the National Honor Society. He plans to attend Case Western Reserve University and a major in engineering. James Tokarski is the captain. James, the lights are spinning, so please push down your yellow button. And you land on the category called time and place. Six questions. Salt Lake City was, was, was once saved by seagulls, but in 390 B.C., Rome was saved from the Gauls by what birds that supposedly lay golden eggs? Geese. Right. 1987 marked the 180th anniversary of Robert Fulton's famous steamship ride from New York City to what locality that gave its name to his now famous boat? Claremont. Right. The 1309 to 1377 captivity of the popes in Avignon took the name of what ancient city in which Nebuchadnezzar built his famous hanging gardens? Babylonia. Correct. Two heads are better than one must have been the view of the French populace in 1793 when it sent to the guillotine both Louis XVI and what queen of his? Marie Antoinette. That is it. In 1937, Japanese aircraft attacked and sank the U.S. ship Panay in the waters of what river, the longest waterway of China? The Yangtze. Correct. 1988, the U.S. had to import 88% of the needed supply of what rare metal, an element whose atomic number is 78 and whose symbol is PT? Plutonium? No, platinum. Platinum, the correct answer there. Chanel, you've got 150 points. We'll be back with a lightning round in just a few minutes. The lightning round will be coming up. But first, teams remember that at the end of every match, we'll check the ladder on our Super Bowl scoreboard. At the end of the season, the three teams with the highest scores will be back to compete in an academic challenge Super Bowl. So far, the highest point totals have been Medina, Copley, and Solon. We'll be right back after this from the Illuminating Company. Before we continue with tonight's match, let's have a closer look at the schools that are competing tonight. With 682 students in grades 9 through 12, Akron's Archbishop Hoban High School is the largest private parochial school in Summit County. English and biology teacher Linda Heath is the academic challenge team advisor for Hoban. She tells us Hoban has had a National Merit Scholarship finalist or semi-finalist each year the school has participated in the program and that 90% of Hoban graduates are college bound. Beachwood is proud of its Junior Council of World Affairs group, which consistently places in the top two in the country for its OAS model United Nations program in Washington, D.C. Science teacher Gene Sotsky is now in his 26th season as advisor to the Academic Challenge team. In the art program, Beachwood students are taught to focus on problem solving and content, and each work of art expresses an idea or feeling consistent with the life experience of the student. In addition, the football team claimed victory as MAC-8 conference champions this year. 90% of Chanel High School seniors are accepted to colleges and universities upon graduation, and last year's graduates earned over $1.5 million in scholarships and grants. Co-advisors to the Academic Challenge team are Joanne Perko, the school's library and media specialist, and Bill Parrish, chairman of the Foreign Language Department. 
Of special interest is the school's in-house TV studio where students produce morning announcements and activities such as student pep rallies are broadcast at Chanel on WCHS Channel 10. And now it's time for the lightning round teams and this round you will all compete individual free for all. The first team to ring its bell for each item will be recognized. The right answer is worth 10 points, but will take away 10 points for a wrong answer or if you fail to reply. Okay, teams, here we go with the lightning round. Everybody talks about the weather, but no one does anything about it. Here is your chance. Please complete the following titles with the appropriate weather word. The blank in the willow. Beechwood. Wind. Yes. Red blank rising. Storm. Beechwood, please wait till I call on you. Yes, storm is correct. Fire and blank. Chanel. Ice. Yes. Gorillas in the Beechwood. Mist. Mist is correct. Days of blank. Archbishop Hoban. Thunder. Thunder. Yes. The spy who came in from the blank. Beechwood. Cold. Yes. My blank. Chanel. Fair. Fair is correct. The blank boy. Beechwood. Oh, uh, summer. Sunshine. Sunshine, the correct answer on that. Some like it. Beechwood. Hot. Hot is correct. The blank of Kilimanjaro. Chanel. The uh, cloud. No. The snows. The snows, the correct answer. Black. Uh, Archbishop Hoban. Rain. Rain is correct. Blank ball. A James Bond novel. We have Beechwood. Thunder. Thunder is correct, and that'll do it for the lightning round. Remember that at the end of the season, the three teams of the highest scores are back to compete in the Academic Challenge Super Bowl and will each receive the new Apple Macintosh Classic Computer for their school. The computers are provided by Apple Computer Incorporated and Holcomb's Educational Materials Stores, Apple's largest educational sales consultant in Ohio. See Holcomb for special educator purchase prices. There are more apples in schools today than any other computer. In addition to their Apple Computer, the winner of our Super Bowl program will also receive a very special championship trophy. We're back after this from the Illuminating Company. And you hear all the raving cheers and yay, lights are on. It just brings something to you. It makes you feel like you did something satisfying for them. Monday's our busiest day of the week. We take anywhere from 3,000 to 4,500 calls in our office. It's hectic. It's challenging. It's fun. Because one of the things that our company has worked on is reliable service. We are a service company. So when we're out there trying to restore service during a storm condition, we, we know exactly how those uh, folks feel. I have industrial accounts. I am the link between the customer and the answer to their problem. I have an engineering degree, and I, I'm capable of answering their questions. People who own, operate, develop, build buildings over the long run, glad that he's our product because we're going to be here. We expect him to be here. As the customer told me yesterday, I know you get things done. We're working to keep you working. Before we go to our second electronic challenge round, let's recap the scores. In third place at this point with 150 points, Archbishop Hoban. Second place with 160, it's Chanel. Our leader so far with 210 points. Beechwood. Now, in this round, each question is worth 20 points, but now you may lose 20 points for incorrect answers or lose 10 points for failure to reply. Any team that answers all eight questions correctly will gain 25 bonus points. Team number one, Archbishop Hoban, is your turn. Guy, the lights are spinning again, so please push down that yellow button. And we have you pick. We'll run through the possibilities for you. Says who? Geography. All the same. Potluck. Letter Perfect, Science, Literature, and History. Which of those categories would you like? Potluck. Potluck is it. All right. Here we go. Eight questions for you. Susan B. Anthony appears on the front of a dollar coin, but it's reversed to pick what historic space event of the year 1969. Mm -hmm. Right? Although he appears in a book entitled Jerry Muskrat, the fictional animal Patty is not a muskrat, but rather what flat-tailed rodent that gnaws at trees and builds dams. He was correct. Although Tierra del Fuego is one of the coldest inhabited regions on Earth, its Spanish name implies that it is the land of what substance that the Greeks claimed was given to man by Prometheus. Sire. Yes. 
In an ancient Egyptian spoke of the divine Kepri, he'd be referring to a god who took the form of what insect, often described as a scarab? Beetle. Beetle is it. The disappearance of the legendary Atlantis was supposedly the result of what natural calamity measured by a seismograph? Earthquake. Yes. In a book entitled A Worthy Tradition, historian Harry Calvin discusses which constitutional amendment that provides for freedom of speech and a free press. First Amendment. Yes. Queens County is one of the five boroughs of New York City, but the adjoining Kings County is better known by what other name once proudly linked with the Dodgers baseball club? Brooklyn. Brooklyn is it. Sleeping in Flame, a novel by Jonathan Carroll, includes a new version of what fairy tale in which a dwarf demands a baby in payment for spinning straw into gold. That is correct. You've got it. 310 points for Archbishop Hoban. Bonus points because you got every question right. And now we move along to Beachwood. Jamie, you know what to do. Please push down that yellow button to stop the lights, and you have landed on geography. Several years ago, an iceberg twice the size of Rhode Island recently broke off from what icy continent that is almost unpopulated. Antarctica? Right. If you were to sail to the old Spanish main, your destination would be the northern coast of what continent? Africa? South America, South America. Michael Doonesbury, the title character of the comic strip Doonesbury, is supposedly from what large city in Oklahoma, a T-initialed city with a five-letter name. Tulsa. That is it. There are many cats in Scandinavia, but the Kattegat Strait is a body of water separating Denmark from what largest Scandinavian kingdom? Sweden. Sweden is right. In order to go dream by Dream Lake, you would travel to a national park that shares its name with what highest mountain range in the contiguous United States? Andes? No, the Rockies. The Rockies. In his painting, Washington Crossing the Delaware, artist Emanuel Luzzi used as his watery image not the Delaware, but rather what German river that flows near Dusseldorf? Rhone? The Rhine, looking for the Rhine River. The 18th century Barbary pirates operated out of Tripolitania, which included what North African country whose Casablanca is probably better known and its capital of Rabat. Morocco. Yeah. Within a few minutes, a plane can fly over the highest and lowest points in the 48 contiguous United States by crossing Mount Whitney and Death Valley in what same state? California. California is correct. Scott and Beachwood, you finished the round with 250 points. Chanel, you're next. You've got 160 points right now. James, push down that yellow button. And you land on geography, which has just been selected. So we'll put those lights in motion again and try it again. And this time you land on energy and science. Energy and science is your category. A choice here. In 1937, the Hindenburg caught fire and burned. The fire was intensified because the Hindenburg was filled with what? Inflammable gas. Helium, hydrogen, or oxygen? Hydrogen. Yes. Yeah. By a process known as saponification, fatty acids and sodium hydroxide are combined to form what household cleanser? Ammonia, soap, or borax? Ammonia. Soap, the correct answer on that. Choice here, a temperature of absolute zero expressed in degrees Kelvin is approximately equal to negative 459 centigrade, negative 273 centigrade, or negative 273 Fahrenheit. 273 centigrade? Centigrade is correct, yes. A choice. Which one of these is not an illustration of simple harmonic motion? A vibrating tuning fork, a swinging pendulum, or a stone whirled on the end of a string? Vibrating fork. No, a stone whirled on the end of a string. A choice here. What colorless, corrosive acid with a sharp odor is present in the sting of wasps, ants, and nettles, and is very irritating to the skin? Formic? Carbonic or nitric acid? Pass. Okay, the correct answer was formic. Choice. What kind of element is argon? A rare earth, a light metal, or an inert gas? Inert gas. Yes. Choice. Would an unusually large number of sunspots be likely to disrupt the work of a lifeguard, a shortwave radio operator, or a computer programmer? Shortwave radio. Correct. Choice again. Dissolved minerals enter plants through their leaves 
stems or root hairs? Root hair. Root hair is correct. Chanel, you've got 210 points. We'll return with the time capsule round right after this message, so please stay with us. Assembly lines. Production lines. Lines that mean jobs for Northeast Ohioans. For years, the Illuminating Company has helped bring new businesses here with thousands of new jobs and paychecks. And CEI people are still fighting for more. So when you think about it, our power lines deliver a lot more than electricity. We're working to keep you working. It's in great condition, but you just don't need it anymore. Give it to Goodwill. Goodwill will sell it to someone who will make great use of it. And the money it brings will help pay for Goodwill's vocational programs for people with disabilities and other special needs. Training to help them qualify for work. And placement services to help them find jobs. The quality items you donate mean quality training for the people Goodwill helps. So give to Goodwill Industries. See what a little Goodwill can do for your community. Students appearing on tonight's show will receive a photograph of their team as they appear on the show and an Academic Challenge t-shirt. In addition, the winners of tonight's show will receive a special plaque commemorating their victory. And welcome back to Academic Challenge. We now have a round of three-part video questions. The questions are key to a clip from an historic newsreel. The teams will be in direct competition. Each part of the three-part question is worth 10 points, and there's a 10-point penalty for wrong answers. Okay, let us roll the evening's first video clip. In 1953, an unexpected frost blighted the coffee crop in what South American country that is both... Columbia. We have Chanel. Brazil was the answer we were looking for. Choice. The stimulant caffeine is a component of coffee. Chemists group caffeine with what have organic compounds often derived from plants. Alkaloids, bauxite, or calcite. Any attempts on this? Correct answer, alkaloids. Although few Europeans had tasted coffee before the 17th century, coffee plants were cultivated in the 10th century in what African nation that was formerly called Abyssinia. Any attempts on this? The answer is Ethiopia. Now let's roll the evening's second video clip. In 1960, the United Nations was asked to deal with a crisis in the former Belgian Congo, a vast African country now known by what Z initialed name? Archbishop Hoban. There? Yes, that's correct. One reason Zaire's political stability is important is that the country has about 60% of the world's reserves of what metallic element that has atomic number 27 and the chemical symbol CO. Beechwood. Co Cobalt. Cobalt is correct, right. The potential and resources of the Congo region were proven during the late 19th century through the efforts of what same Anglo-American explorer who had found Stanley. we have Chanel. Stanley is correct. Right. Now we'll roll the evening's third video clip. In 1950, a project to stimulate rainfall by cloud seeding was tested by Dr. Wallace Howell, a professor from what Ivy League University located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, Archbishop Hoban. Harvard. Harvard is right. In the test, clouds were seeded by aircraft that dropped both silver iodide and dry ice. Dry ice was originally a trade name for a solidified form of what compound, Archbishop Hoban? Carbon dioxide. Correct. The 1950 test took place over what mountains in New York, the same mountains in which... Catskills. Catskills is correct, and that'll do it for the time capsule round. <laughs> and we'll be back for a final grab bag round right after this from the Illuminating Company. We take anywhere from 3,000 to 4,500 calls in our office. It's hectic, it's challenging, it's fun. The pace may be grueling to someone else, but we can enjoy it. I am the link between the customer and the answer to their problem. We're able to uh, deal with the customers on a more personal basis because we're customers too. As the customer told me yesterday, I know you get things done. We're working to keep you working. A little goodwill can work wonders. When you support Goodwill Industries, you help provide work training and job placement services to people right here in your own community. You can contribute your time. You can donate clothing and household items. You can give financial support. When you give, 
It benefits people with disabilities and other special needs who rely on Goodwill programs. See what a little Goodwill can do for your community. Support Goodwill Industries. Now teams face their final competition, the grab bag. Before we get going, I'll recap the scores for you. In third place, it's 220 points, Chanel. Second place, 260 points, Beachwood, our leader so far with 365 points, Archbishop Hoven. Now in the grab bag, teams gain 20 points for each correct answer, Mr. Failed to answer, and 20 points are deducted. Okay, teams, here we go with the first question of tonight's grab bag. It's Now or Never, recorded years ago by Elvis Presley, was recently re-recorded by what former Beatle, who also played with the band Wings, Beachwood. Paul McCartney. Yes. What 20th century writer used the pen name Victoria Lucas when she first published her autobiographical novel, The Bell Jar? Any attempts? Answer is Sylvia Platt. A rectangular solid has sides of nine, three, and one. What is the side of a cube with the same volume of the rectangular solid, Archbishop Hoban. Three. Three is correct. Some Can Whistle is not a book about football referees, but is the title of a recent novel by what author of Lonesome Dove? Any attempts on this? Answer, Larry McMurtry. Unveiled last October 11th was the production line version of what new General Motors automobile, named for the Saturn. Beachwood Saturn is correct. The top prize of the 1990 Cannes Film Festival went to Wild at Heart, a movie by what American director, who also Beachwood? David Lynch. David Lynch is right. Young people are often rebellious, but Pauline Meyer's book entitled Old Revolutionaries concerns what colonial politician born in 1722 who organized the Boston Tea Party? Beachwood. Samuel Adams. Correct. Choice, which one of the following properties is not characteristic of an acid? It turns blue litmus red, it accepts protons, or it conducts electricity in a water. Archbishop Hoban. Right. When the Pentagon was completed, it was proudly noted that it had three times the office space of what New York building, the 19 Chanel. The Empire State Building. Correct, James. The big rock candy mountain of song may sound delectable, but you'll actually find delectable mountains in what allegory by John Bunyan? Beachwood. Pilgrim's Progress. Pilgrim's Progress is correct, and that concludes tonight's match. <laughs> now let's check the final standings for tonight. In third place with 240 points, Chanel. Second place with 360 points, Beachwood. Our champion tonight with 405 points, it is Archbishop Hoban. Congratulations. Now let's take a look at our Super Bowl scoreboard and find out if tonight's champion has scored well enough to earn a place on the ladder with 405 points. You come up a bit short, but a good match tonight. Now be sure to catch the action next week when teams from South Range High of North Lima, La Brea of Levittsburg, and Notre Dame Cathedral Latin of Chardon face off on Academic Challenge. I'm Lou Maglio. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next Saturday night. Good night, everybody. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by The Illuminating Company.